Hey, come see us on tour. I'll be in Davenport, Iowa, Las Vegas, Nevada, Chicago, Illinois, and Grand Rapids, Michigan. Go to JimmyDoor.com for a link for tickets. So if you don't know who this is, this is Nathan Wade. Yeah. So he's one of the top, he was one of the people hired to prosecute Trump in Atlanta, hired by his lover, Fannie Willis. Nice. And paid way more money than any of the other prosecutors. They were nice. all making 200 grand. He was making over 600 grand. And then he was taking her on trips all around the world. The who, who was doing this? One of the top prosecutors prosecuting Trump in Atlanta, hired by the uh, the attorney general, I think, of uh, of of Georgia, Fannie Willis. Is that her title? DA, Could you look what, District Attorney or, Fannie Willis. Look, look up what her title is. I don't think it's the same as attorney general. So she's the district attorney of Fulton County, hired this guy, her lover at the time, and then they lied about it right because it was they were so she paid him way more and so there here he is lying under oath about the affair they lied about the and affair she didn't need to so if they, they hadn't been so squirrely they, they none of this would happen they could easily so they you lied can hire your lover there's so, no law against so it so let me show that but they the, but they were Kurt. they decided to lie and they yeah. lied under oath and here he is lying so watch this they ask him they caught him because he booked cabins and they would go into louisiana i think and they would uh, have fuck fests at a cabin, right? Noise. And so, noise. And so, watch, <laughs> watch him. What, this is what a guy looks like when he's caught lying and he just lies. Watch. For a thousand pages of records. I'm asking if you remember paying for a cabin six months ago in Tennessee. I like the fake. Uh, uh, I'm really trying to think. I'm really. Uh, so the, who's there? I can't see too well so, in my old age. So let's watch how funny this is, and then I'll get to the real thing. I want to show you. There's a new video, and I want to show you it for a thousand pages of records. I'm asking if you remember paying for a cabin six months ago in Tennessee. No. You remember booking a cabin? I booked lots of cabins. What? Did you go to a cabin with Miss Willis? Ever. 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 Who? <laughs> Give me a sniff. <laughs> uh. Great job. Great job. Keep going. Keep going. Uh. No. <laughs> Why? No. Uh. Why? Okay, you're. I don't understand this. So they ask him about this at his next CNN interview, and this is what Just happened. To clarify: When did the re romantic relationship between the two of you start? Yeah. So you, you know, we get into. There's been this effort to 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 say that okay, these these exact dates are 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 at issue, and these exact dates are. I'm getting. I'm getting signaled here. <laughs> what the? What is this? I'm getting signals. You don't work this out beforehand? Yeah, yeah. Can I go off mic for a second? Yes. Okay. Go off mic for a Keep rolling. Keep, Keep rolling. rolling. Don't stop yeah. now. What is happening? You didn't see this? No. Yeah. Hey, guys, the time is before the interview. Yeah, no. We'll do it live. This is how dumb the people are who are prosecuting Trump. How does he prosecute cases? Just, he, he, I don't if, think. If you know you're going on the stand for a kind of serious thing, they don't go when they ask you if you go in a cab and say no and don't take a minute. And then in the middle of an interview, he just gets up. I got to consult. I can't, I can't answer this question. Uh, uh, ha ha. Everything okay? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, everything's okay. No, no, it's not. So now he decided to go on. So because these people are all the exact thing they claim Trump is, they're all they're all celebrity whores. They're attention whores. They all want celebrity. They all want money. He went on set. He went on Comedy Central to do an interview. I didn't even know that how, was still a channel. How stupid. I didn't know it was either. It's how stupid. Nathan, so Citizen Free Press tweets this out. He's going to regret this. You think? Let's watch. Turn it up just a little. So let me ask you, when old girl was like, hey, old babe, girl. you want to be in charge of this prosecution of the president of the United States uh, who did this insurrection? <laughs> did you think, like, uh, this could get messy? Or you was like, nah. 
I'll be all right. We did not have that type of relationship right. um, uh-huh. at, at the at the outset, and we were interviewing other people uh-huh. for the position. What position was it? It was only the position. Which position? Was the prosecutor. Did that position the look like this? <laughs> or did that position look like this? <laughs> so no. After Wade resigned as special prosecutor, Trump's law dogs still tried to use their relationship to get the case thrown out. They compelled his ass to testify and grilled this <laughs> hard. Did you go to a cabin with Miss Willis ever? Both the homie had answers. Ever? <laughs> ever. <laughs> No. <laughs> you have a booking a cabin. I booked lots of cabins. My question is, when you booking all these cabins? So, so, so. How many district attorneys you be smashing in cabins? <laughs> Zero. Is it Airbnb or Verbo? Where you be getting all these cabins from? That's what my people want to know. Where do I get them? All right. <laughs> Who is that dude? I don't know, but that was hilarious. Oh, he did that good. Now he that he was, was you an old girl. That was <laughs> <laughs> when it, you an old girl were in the cabin. <laughs> that's that's amazing. <laughs> he turned his hat on his voice. <laughs> so apparently Nathan Wade's handlers are punking him just so they can laugh at him. Cause that's he's got handlers. I'll bet they assumed that it was like, oh, he's a r- journalist of color, so it'll be like a cake, you know? I'll bet it's some stupid thing like that. And this dude's being pretty funny. Like, I, I, it's almost like back in the old days, Daily Show, and you'd be like, why did you agree to come on here? Remember that? What, what, why would you? Why? So it's like, what's the thought process here? I totally ate it in every other interview I've done. I know. Let's go on Comedy Central. You know the place that does the roasts? I bet that'll work out for us. They're bent towards Biden. That, that's how he probably felt. That's how he thought? The Daily Show for a while has been a Biden set. You know, oh, Trevor of course no- it is. Trevor Noah Daily Show? Oh, that's right. I bet you that's what they thought it was. They, this is funny but as they hell, thought, yeah. that, But I mean, CNN was also friendly. Did and they, they, and yeah. they totally fucked it up. I, it, it really is bizarre. Uh, like I can't believe after the you know the first couple disastrous outings, they they haven't had someone coaching him. I can't believe it either. And then they're like, no, we'll just do it the day of the live CNN thing. We'll just wing it, and I then can't... stop the interview and send him back. Not even an earpiece. Not even an earpiece. How dumb is this dude? You can't work with him. That's pretty dumb. These are the people who are prosecuting Trump in How Atlanta. How did he pass law school? That's what I thought. I what always, is this? I always thought it was hard. Am I a lawyer? <laughs> I always thought it was really hard to pass the bar, but look at these people are fucking app. Transparent morons. Yo, He's a I'll moron. I'll be a lawyer if you want. Just tell me the thing to say, and I, I'll, I won't, tell me before I won't I, fuck it up on the day of. I book lots of cabins. You book lots of cabins? You're a lawyer. What do you mean you book lots? I book lots of cabins. What? Maybe he has like a sponsorship with some kind of app. And that's cabin, when he asked him, you cabin, use it, yeah. is, it ver- is it Verbo or is it Airbnb? And I, he says, I. By the way, if you book lots of cabins, the way these apps work, there's a, a firm record of all the cabins. You can yes. pick out the ones yes. on the day in question. In fact, I would with my legal team. Oh, that's Marlon that's Wayans? That's Marlon? That's Mar. And he's doing a character I didn't Kwan. recognize him at all. I, I didn't either. This guy kind of looks like Marlon Wayans, but I didn't think it was Marlon Wayans. Wow, that was funny. Yeah, what's going on? What happened, Mark? I I know I've met him. I like him. He's an ex Jehovah too. Oh, no kidding. Yeah, he I didn't, I never met him. 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 I don't know him. I never saw him. Anything that he did. Did he do movies too? Didn't they? Did? Yeah, done. He did a shit ton. But he looks very different to me for some reason. Is he a clone? <laughs> I bet you. I bet you Nathan Wade just wanted to meet him. I bet you that's why he did it. Yeah. I bet you that's why he did it. Um, well, that was funny. That was really funny. Yeah, that really made me laugh, man. Wow. Well, we want to watch it a little bit? Well, I want yeah, to watch yeah, it one yeah. more time. So let me ask you. When old girl was like, hey, babe, you want to be in charge of this prosecution of the president of the United States uh, who did this insurrection? Did you think like, 
Yo, this could get messy. Or you was like, nah. <laughs> we did not have that type of relationship right. um, at, at the at the outset, and we were interviewing other people uh-huh. for the position. What position was it? It was only it was the position of special prosecutor. Did that position look like this? <laughs> or did that position look like this? <laughs> so no. After Wade resigned as special prosecutor, you know, Trump's because law dogs still yeah, try to use their really relationship to get the case thrown out. They compelled his ass to testify and grilled this hard. Did you go to a cabin with Miss Willis ever? Both the homie had answers. Ever? <laughs> ever. booking a cabin. I booked lots of cabins. My question is, who you booking all these cabins? So, so, so. How many district attorneys you be smashing in cabins? <laughs> Zero. Is it Airbnb or Verbo? Where you be getting all these cabins from? That's what my people want to know. Where do I get them? All right. <laughs> <laughs> That's really good. I didn't recognize him because he's in character. Hey, I believe in having a substantial percentage of my financial future secured with gold and silver. You know this. I've talked about this. That's why I decided to partner with our sponsor, Colonial Metals Group. They helped me set up a safe and secure self-directed IRA where I have access to my assets no matter what the stock market does or, for that matter, no matter what the government's doing. Let the team of experts at Colonial Metals Group help you protect your family's future. We put together a special offer for our offer for our audience. Click on the link in the description of this video or call a special 800 number and you'll receive a safe, a safe and up to $10,000 in free silver. That's right. Go to colonialmetalsgroup.com slash Jimmy Dore Show. That's colonialmetalsgroup.com slash jimmy dash door dash show or call 888-910-1419 that's 888-910-1419 hey come see us on tour i'll be in davenport iowa las vegas nevada chicago illinois and grand rapids michigan go to jimmydoor.com for a link for tickets (laughs) 